There you go. Now you guys can see me. So when MagSafe first came out, it was pretty exciting because it's a magnetic design on a phone. The possibilities are somewhat endless, but for whatever reason, I never thought about this and I'm so sad that I didn't because right here we have the STM goods, STM, smarter than most because this is actually really smart, at least it sounds like it. We have the MagPod. So the MagPod is basically a magnetic MagSafe selfie stick and tripod, which you can put in virtually any angle because it's all magnetic and it has this cool stuff going on with it. So I'm really excited about it because I do a lot of videos with my phone, always need a tripod, and this right here, it's pretty cool actually. I mean, that's kind of the only reason. I mean, I could use an old tripod, but magnetic, put it in any position I want, that's cool. So you can prop your iPhone with MagSafe, the pod opens up to a tripod, and the mount swivels virtually to any angle. Designed for use with iPhone MagSafe. Y'all already know. I mean, this box, first of all, is pretty cool. I mean, look at that. It's got like a little angle here. I mean, come on, you can't hate it. I mean, come on, even this little hang tag thing is pretty cool looking. Although, this kind of looks a little bulky. Although, I was kind of expecting. But it's, ooh, well, oh, that's magnetic. Okay, you actually see it inside there. That looks pretty nice. Look at that. I mean, it's kind of hard to see. It's a little dark in there, but pretty cool. MagPod Smarter Phone Stand, a brilliantly designed stand or handle for your MagSafe iPhone, providing the perfect parking spot anywhere you use your phone. Yeah, all right, they went there. So take a look at this. Use your phone as a handle, you know, just hold it like this, record stuff, any angle you want. Use as a phone stand so you can like prop it up and watch some movies and pivot and swivel to the desired angle. I mean, look at that. This is gonna be pretty cool. I already know, I mean, come on. And of course, for best performance, you're gonna to wanna to use this without a case or with a MagSafe case, because you wanna have the strongest connection. So, very cool. Scan the QR code to learn how to use it. Now, nah, I'll figure this out. So, let's see, how do you open the box? So I gotta figure that out. I don't know how I didn't think of this myself. Like, this is pretty genius, assuming it works as I'm expecting. I don't know why I would do all, oh. Okay, this thing is a bit bigger and heavier than I was expecting, but I mean, it feels solid. I mean, anything else in here? Oh, wait, no, that's that. There's nothing else. There's no instruction manual or anything. You just scan the QR code. See, they're smart like that, too. So, here we go. We got it right here. So, MagSafe right here. Big magnetic ring right here. Feeling solid. Like, I'm not really worried about this breaking. Down here on the bottom, of course, some rubber feet. Let's open. Oh, that's cool. You just open one and they all open. Did not see that coming. So, let's open it up. Put it down. I mean, the rubber is not super grippy, but of course, it's not gonna move unless you hit it or something. I mean, it's good, but you know, you could push it and it's gonna move. But, wow. So, so far it's at an angle. Oh, that's pretty cool, look at that. We have it straight up, move it down. Okay, so it only goes up and down right here. It doesn't like go all around, but I mean, I guess you wouldn't need it to. Then, let's see, you could twist this. Oh, wow, now we have it completely straight. You can even go like in the middle, because this is kind of like a magnetic thing too. It's any angle you want, okay. Let's see what else can we turn here. We could turn this back. What else can you do? I feel like there's more stuff you could do, but this is all I'm able to do. That part doesn't turn. Is that really it? This part looks like it would turn. Let me see if I open this. I mean, I guess this. <laughs> I guess it's a little simpler than I was expecting. I thought you could turn each of these individual pieces. I guess it's just this piece. And then this up and down? I mean, for the most part, it looks like this is gonna, I hope, hopefully, I mean, that looks like it's straight. It should work for what I'm intending to use it for. But I, just, I don't know, I just, it just looked like there was a lot more angles. I mean, I guess there's a bunch of angles if you, you know, move it a little bit at a time. You can move this like this. Have it kind of angled upward, kinda. I mean. Yeah, there's that. So now, of course, got my iPhone right here. We got the Max. And, I mean, let's, I guess let's start with this. Oh, that's a strong magnet, though. All right. So, this is basically what I'm planning to be using it as. Just a tripod of sorts. There you go. Now you guys can see me. Now, the thing is, this is pretty short. I guess you could... Pr nah, the phone's too heavy. You have to have it all the way open like that or it's going to fall forward. But pretty much this is what I was planning to use it for, although it is a bit low, so depending on the situation, like right now you probably can't even see my face, it's like right here on my chest. So in that case, I don't know guys, let me try it this way, get an idea. 
All right, so yeah, I can't see my face. So I would, oh wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, I forgot. Well, at least for this one, I can angle it upward. All right, now I can see my face, but it's, you know, coming upward, it's not completely straight with me. But technically, if I flip this over, wait, there's no way to get this higher, is it? There's no way to use the back camera higher? Hmm. If I flip this back, ah! There's no way, I mean, I guess I wouldn't, I would want it to be flush, I guess I would put this on top of something. But I mean, at least it works perfectly fine. Wait, this is high as, wait, this is kind of a weird angle right here. This is as low as it'll go right here. So if I wanna watch a movie, let me put on a video, get that sound off. All right, so it's, I mean, I could watch it, but I need it to be a little bit more angled toward me and it's either up or down here. Let me see, maybe if I flip this over, Move it up like this. Oh yeah, this is more like it. This right here is like a perfect angle to watch a movie on. I mean, it's cool. It's just, I mean, just, <laughs> I, I honestly thought there'd be a, a bit more moving here. There's just literally two parts you can swivel around. But I mean, if you're gonna use this to watch movies, it's perfect. If you're gonna use it as a tripod, it's perfect because you can get it completely straight. Problem is you have to he make sure it's elevated because it's very short. So if you just put this on top of something Huh, it's closing by itself. I mean there's some like panel gaps between the rubber feet and the rest of the tripod But I mean you get it straight you just get it elevated up Or just scooch down a little bit and you could use it as a tripod. I mean it's cool I gotta still you know figure out how I'm gonna actually use this in real life because I feel like it's too low for me. I, I wish it was a little bit higher. I wish there was somewhere, does this come out? I mean, this doesn't extend, right? Like maybe that's why there's a gap, it extends. But I think this is it. I mean, it would make sense if it extended, right? I mean, they could easily put it inside of there. Okay, I'm ripping off the feet. That's not good. The feet are coming off. <laughs> okay, don't try to extend this because it's not gonna go. Let's get those feet back on. I don't know, it's, it's cool if you're gonna I mean, I don't know if I'd pay for this to just do this. Unless you really want to flex on everybody or something. But, you know, if you want to use it as this and a magnetic tripod and you're going to have it elevated up, it's good. But seriously, it could be, it could be a tad bit better. Guys, take notes.